Good morning, everyone. This is Dr. Sean Purgal. I'm president of National Academy of Osteopathy in Canada. And today from the beautiful Spain, I wish to speak with you about why manual osteopathy is such a great profession for global opportunities for those who wish to travel or emigrate to another country. This is one of those rare professions that you, once you learn it and you become a manual osteopath, you can practice in most countries of the world, almost all countries. Unlike other professions like medicine, dentistry, chiropractic, physiotherapy, uh, law, accounting, and so on, that are regulated in almost all countries of the world, uh, when you are a medical doctor, for example, you cannot just pack and go to another country and work. Here, in, uh, I'm in Spain now, but in Canada, we have hundreds of medical doctors as a students who came there from other countries and could not practice medicine. And uh, because they love to help people, they decided to become manual osteopaths to, to uh, own their own clinics and have a financially and emotionally rewarding career. Uh, this is what osteopathy does. Manual osteopathy provides that while others uh, do not. Uh, because manual osteopathy is not regulated in most countries of the world, this is such a blessing uh, for you. Uh, if you come, uh, travel from one country to another country, you can easily uh, practice in that country. We have many students, who Canadian and otherwise, who move to other countries. Uh, for example, Dr. Thomas Andrew. Uh, he's a Canadian uh, who graduated from our schools and uh, now he's practicing in Bermuda in a five-star luxury resort. Uh, I think it's called The Reef. Um, th this is what the Manuel Osteopathy offers uh, for you. Uh, it, be, exactly because it is not uh, a regulated uh, profession and it's also because what they do, what they see, they see last resort cases, they provide amazing opportunity for treating chronic pain. As such, they are in demand anywhere they go. Most manual osteopaths are fully booked, they are busy, they, ha they have a lucrative income. Um, in Canada, they make $90,000 a year manual osteopaths. My students make $150,000 per year, $60,000 more than other manual osteopaths because I teach them over 200 business lectures. I teach them everything I know about business to them. Uh, but even uh, those manual osteopaths who are not my students, they all still have good lucrative income. Uh, no matter where they go, and that is the beauty of the profession. As long as there is chronic pain, there is a need for manual osteopaths. Especially now, after the COVID-19 pandemic, we saw an increase in the usage of manual osteopathic services. Apparently, the incidence of chronic pain has, has risen to a greater level because people are not active as before. G a lot of G they don't go to gyms, they, they don't go out, many work from home. So a lot of people have more chronic pain and seek manual osteopathic services more often. For example, one of my students, uh, Dr. Ali Hariri, he practices in New Mar uh, north of New Market in Ontario. He is one of uh, those rare students that I have who owns a million dollar clinic. He has 16 health professionals working for him and two months ago uh, I met him and he told me that he hired three, uh, three National Academy of Osteopathy graduates to help him see all the patients that uh, want to book an appointment with him. Uh, this is the beauty of manual osteopathy, even uh, uh, it's one of those professions that have not been affected by COVID-19, actually positively have been affected. They see a, a more usage of their services. And I see that in many of uh, our clinics as well. I own Osteopathy Chronic Pain Clinics of Canada. We now have 346 clinics in uh, 33 countries. Uh, and we opened uh, a number of new clinics after the pandemic. Uh, two, week, uh, two weeks ago, I opened one uh, in Ireland. 
Uh, last week we opened two in Singapore. About three weeks ago we opened one in Iran. Uh, so there is a need for manual osteopathy and it's global. Uh, by becoming a manual osteopath, you can travel and uh, emigrate to many other countries and work there, uh, work there and provide chronic pain services. That is why I believe manual osteopathy is an amazing profession. It does a fantastic job dealing with chronic pain. It also offers uh, amazing financial and emotional satisfaction for manual osteopaths, as you know. Manual osteopaths have 98% job satisfaction rate, number one in Canada of all health professions. They also have number one patient loyalty rate in Canada, 97%, meaning uh, out of 100 patients, 97 of them will not change manual osteopaths and they remain with that manual osteopath for life. Uh, I love osteopathy. Uh, this is one of my students give to me. Uh, about 10 different shirts and I'm very proud of it. It's size medium. I was size extra, extra large five years ago. Then uh, I changed my lifestyle, became uh, followed a healthy lifestyle. Now I'm size medium and I'm very happy. Uh, happy I eat well um, and I'm doing intermittent fasting now. I'm in the month 10th of uh, my intermittent fasting. I eat only one, one time per day at four o'clock. I eat what I want, good food, but uh, uh, I eat enough calories for the day. And it, it did wonders for me. And I highly recommend to anyone, if you're medically fit and your doctor okays it to follow intermittent fasting, it has tons of benefit for you. But anyway, uh, that's it for today. I am in Spain. Uh, it's a beautiful, beautiful area. Well, I woke up this morning with the sound of roosters. I love that. Where can you see that? It's just so beautiful. I love countryside. I don't like city life. Countryside is so amazing. Pure air, uh, uh, just lots of green nature. It's a beautiful life. I'm grateful to God for providing me this opportunity to enjoy all this beauty, to see all this beauty. Uh, I am blessed. I am truly blessed. Thank you for watching the video, this video. Until next time, hasta luego. God bless. Namaste.